and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's college topics advice video is going to be about your first day of college and your first week. I know it's super nerve-wracking, so I have some little bit of advice to give to you guys for your very first week of college to make it a little bit more easier. Um, go ahead and subscribe down below if you haven't already and comment down below what advice you would give to first years um, about classes and also what other college ed vid videos do you guys want me to make and yeah let's just go ahead and get right into this week's video so the first thing I'm going to be talking about is the things that you should do before classes begin um, so the first thing I would recommend you guys to do is take a mini campus tour and go through your schedule of classes and literally go to that class in front of the door even to make sure that you know where your classes are it's super embarrassing if you're late to class or you're in the wrong classroom so take a little mini tour go with your roommates even or go with other people like from your orientation group and just take a mini tour or even ask your uh, orientation leaders if you guys do orientation um, to show you where your classes are. The second thing I would say to do before class is if your professor has already posted your syllabus on your student portal, I would quickly review that just in case there's something that's due on the first day or something that you need to bring on the first day. And also if you're taking a heavy course load that quarter or that semester um, you really want to know how much work is going to be needed for that class if you check the syllabus you can see what your schedule is in that class and how much work it takes so you definitely want to look through that um, it might be too much for what you can do so just keep that in mind and you might like need to drop the class or something so definitely review the syllabus before getting into class third thing I would recommend is if you're not going to class for whatever reason something might have happened a family emergency or you're really really sick anything that makes you not go to class just email your professor beforehand I would recommend 24 hours before or the morning of your class um, just because you know things happen but um, if you don't tell your professors they they might think that you don't want to be in that class and drop you from the list and add somebody else that's on the wait list so if you don't want to lose your spot in that class email the professor the next thing I recommend you for you guys to do before class is not to buy your books um, even if it says like course material and it uh, lists a book sometimes you don't need it or they the professors say in your syllabus oh you need this book but you don't so don't buy your textbooks before class. Wait until the first day or the first week is over to see if you actually need it. The next thing I'm going to talk about is what to expect during class, so the actual class. Um, the first tip I would say don't be late. At least be 10 to 5 minutes early before your class starts um, just so you can get a good seat or anything like that don't be late it's super embarrassing and people will know that you're a first year if you're late to your class and the professor might even call you out so that's even more embarrassing um, so don't be late on your first day the second thing I would want to talk about is what to bring and that um, on your first day you don't need much because professors usually just go over the syllabus and then you can leave but some professors do go into chapter one especially if you're on a quarter system um, so you might need to go for the full two hours or three hours or how long your class is. Usually they don't, but sometimes they do. So I would recommend to bring your laptop, um, a pencil and pen, and then a notebook and a laptop charger if your phone's or if your laptop's about to die. So those are the only things that you should need on the first day. Um, you probably won't need it. The next thing I would say um, during class is where to sit. I recommend to sit in the middle. Don't sit in the back. The professors know the people that sit in the back don't really care about that class or they're not going to show up a lot of the time. So don't sit in the back. They even say, like one of my professors said, um, this is the, pointing to the top, which is the last row, this is the F row or the D row. This is pointing to the middle, the B, C, and the front row is the A. Of course that's not always true, but 
that's what they think and they know that you're going to be either not going to that class or not paying attention. So don't sit in the back. Um, only sit in the front if you're really into that class or really um, want to like speak because sometimes the, mo the professors are more likely to call on you if you sit in the front. So just be aware of that. Um, if you really want to pay attention in that class, sit in the front. But um, if you do sit in the front, try not to leave that class in the middle because it's very, very noticeable and distracting. So I would recommend sit in the middle. It's not too in the back. It's not too in the front. It's, a, it's the perfect seat. The next thing I recommend to do while being in class is talk to somebody, just introduce yourself, especially first years. Your first year is the most opportunity to meet new people um, and you want to be meeting new people all the time. So just introduce yourself, just be like, hey, is this Econ 101? And they'll be like, yeah, but okay, I just want to make sure. Uh, my name's Ryo, what's your name? And then they'll say their name and just go into like little icebergs like, what's your major? Where are you from? What dorms are you living in? and you might make a friend. <laughs> it's very important to at least know one person just in case you miss that class or if you have really hard homework assignments um, you can just like text them up and be like oh hey what I miss and they can give you the notes or it can help you on your homework and be study buddy. So that's a very big plus and also just a little story time. I met two of my really good friends on the very first day of class. My very first class of college it's like we still laugh about it um, so we had to do a prerequisite for business calculus and it was just like a really easy math class which was so pointless and we literally bonded over hating that class because it was so pointless and the very first day we were talking and um, it was a my friends are one of them is a girl and one of them is a guy our guy friend he was like oh do you guys want to uber with me to downtown because that night we were having a night farmers market and his um, orientation group had already like left to go um, because he obviously had class and so we were like uh sure why not so we literally went back to our dorms put our stuff down met up again ubered to the farmers market and spent like the night with his orientation group and then became like really good friends after that. Um, I still like take classes with them. I try to meet up with them. It's so crazy. We always laugh about like how we met in class. So maybe you might find your long life best friend. You never know. So just introduce yourself. The next thing I recommend um, during class is not to be on your phone or your laptop or eating a bunch of stuff in the like on the first day um, it's really rude and it's really disrespectful especially if other people are not on their laptops are not on their phone they're the literally first day they're just going over the syllabus and the like class rules and what to expect in that class so it's really rude if you're on your laptop for no reason they'll notice and they're most likely going to call you out so don't be on your laptop or your phone or don't bring a five course meal to class because they will definitely call you out and it's just super distracting for other students, so don't do that. And then the last part is after class and what to do. So the first thing I would say right after class, try to introduce yourself to your professor. Obviously, you know, you might not have to do it for all your professors, but especially your major and your concentration, you should definitely um, introduce yourself. To them or go to like the first week's office hours or the second week's uh, just to get to know them because building up like a relationship with your professor is super important because they're most likely have been correct hmm. actually they have been in that industry and they know a lot of professionals and a lot of people so building that relationship might even get you a job later in life um, or an internship and if you're thinking about going to grad school, which your first year, you're probably not. But um, if you do end up going to grad school, you might use them for like a recommendation letter or anything like that. So it's very important to build a relationship with a professor. The second thing I would also recommend to do after class is the person that like, you know, you introduced yourself to, make sure to get their contact information. Um, just be like, oh, hey, by the way, like, do you want to exchange contact information just in case, like, 
you know, you don't go to class or I don't go to class, we can always just like give each other the notes. They're most likely going to say, okay, yeah, like sounds like a good plan, which is like the best of both worlds because make a new friend, study buddy. Hmm? Um, but yeah, so it's super important to get their contact info uh, because you might need to be in contact with them. The third thing I recommend you do, if you need a textbook, don't go to the bookstore and buy it. I would recommend to get it off of either Chegg or Amazon. There's a bunch of other different websites. Um, I, I'll put one in the description of like because I watched the video of someone saying um, where they get their textbooks for super cheap. So I get mine from Chegg. I get mine from Chegg because they're a lot less expensive than the bookstore and yeah, and you can just rent them too, so um, yeah. But sometimes you do need to get a specific book from the bookstore, so just a little disclaimer. Also, um, if you do go to the bookstore, I would definitely recommend to get some Scantrons. Um, it's super important to just have backups just in case you have a quiz that you forgot about or a midterm. You probably didn't forget but um, and you don't have time to go to the bookstore that week it's really convenient for you just to have the scantrons ready for you I always carry extra with me um, just in case so yeah recommend that the last thing I recommend to do after class is go through your syllabus and like write down in your agenda planner Google Calendar or an app or something where you track your homework um, I use a homework app for MacBooks. I would recommend to plug in like the most important dates, like your final and what time, because they can be different times than what your class um, is scheduled at. Um, midterms, quizzes, assignments due, so your homework or projects or essays that are due. It's very important to keep track of that because if you're taking three, four, or five classes, um, you want to know and mi don't mix up your dates, um, especially for tests, which is really important to keep track of. So get an agenda, get a homework app, anything to help you remember the most important due dates. Alright, that is it for this week's video, guys. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys liked it, go ahead and push the like button. If you haven't yet subscribed, go subscribe to my channel. Comment down below what other videos or advice topics that you guys want on college. Um, especially for first years, there's a lot of questions. So I might either do a Q&A if they're just small questions or make a whole video for that specific topic. But yeah, I hope you guys like this week's video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!